Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to respond to a viewer who needs my help to create a series of 30-minute time intervals. Now, the easiest way to do that is using autofill. Notice over here in cell A4, we have a time value entered, 12 a.m., in other words, midnight. Now, don't make this mistake. Don't select a single cell and autofill when you want to have a time interval other than one hour. So you see that when I autofill using a single cell, the step value is one hour. Unlike when I autofill a date, I only have one option to either copy the cells or fill the series. Let me use Control Z to undo that. So I mentioned that when we autofill with a date and we go into the autofill options, we have many options for filling the series. We can fill the series one day at a time, weekdays only, fill by months or fill by years. Now, all hope is not lost. And again, I'll use Control Z to undo that. In this case, our goal is to create a series of 30-minute time intervals. So we type in to an adjacent cell a time which is a half hour later than our starting time. So the hour is 12, colon, the minutes, 30, space, and a small letter A for AM. Now that's the easiest way to correctly enter time. And notice that both in A4 and A5 that our time values align to the right side of the cell. That means that Excel is storing them properly as numeric values so that we can do time calculations. Now that I have the step value for the series indicated before I autofill, select both of those cells and then autofill. And it doesn't have to be restricted to autofill going down vertically. We can also autofill going across horizontally. In this case, I'm going to autofill by a series of 15 minutes. So the hour, colon, the minutes, a space, and a small letter A for AM. It would have been a small letter P for PM click OK. Remember to select both of the cells that indicate the step value for the series before you autofill. So there you see a series of time intervals that increment in this case by 15 minutes and I'll use Control Z twice. Now let's take a look at how mathematically this works out. Remember all formulas begin with the equal sign. So I want to point to the end time and then I want to minus the start time. Now I'm going to have to change the formatting here. Rather than seeing a, a, an actual time, on the home tab of the ribbon over here in the numbers group, we're going to click the launcher to open up the format cells dialog box on the number tab. I want to go into the number category and I want to select a number that contains six decimal places. Click OK. So there you go. There's the formula which indicates the numeric value for one half hour. So what portion of the day is one half hour? So let's come over here and I'll use a keyboard shortcut, control shift colon to put in the current time. Now I'll write a formula equals and I'll point to the beginning time plus and I'll type in the constant value. 0 0.020833. Click or use Control Enter. So now with my formula in place, I can in fact select a single cell and drag it in the direction. And the formula has added a, a half an hour to each time, to the time in the cell just prior to that. Now let me stop here for a second and I'm going to then continue and show you how time is stored in Excel. All right, over here in column H, I have some significant times of the day. Now let me use the equal sign to make a reference and I want to then show you how they're actually stored. So click OK. What I'm going to do is change the formatting. So make my selection over here and once again, home tab of the ribbon from the numbers uh, tab, click the launcher and I want to go in to the uh, numbers category and I want to change the decimal places to, uh, let's leave them in place for two. Click OK and now you can see that 12 a.m. is stored as 0, 0.00. 
6 a.m. is stored as 0 0.25. In other words, 25% of the day has elapsed at 6 a.m. each day. At noon at 12 p.m., 50% or half of the day, midday, has elapsed. So you see how Excel is storing um, a specific time as a decimal portion of one day. And that's even more apparent when we change the formatting over here and format the stored values as a percentage. So 12 noon is stored as 0 0.5. 50% of the day has elapsed when we reach 12 noon. So there you've learned how to create a series using a step value in autofill. You've also seen how to calculate the numeric equivalent for a half an hour that you can use then in a formula. And I've shown you how Excel stores time as a portion, as a decimal portion of one, as a decimal portion of a complete day. And I will look for you in the next lesson.